Hi Kindy Kids. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about bookmaking. So as you remember from Kindy, I am a bookmaker and when we write books, we learn about writing, we learn about drawing, we learn about storytelling, we learn how to hold our pen and we can learn all sorts of other things. So I've written heaps of books. I've even brought them home with me today. And one of my favorite books, I think I'm gonna read this one today to you, is a book about rhyming. So we've been learning about rhyming. Rhyming is one of the skills that we learn at Kindy because it helps us, because often words, when we write them that sound a bit the same, are also spelt the same, so we learn to rhyme. So this book is called Beck Loves to Rhyme. And I'm the author. You always need to be putting your name down the bottom. And so I've got Beck Loves to Rhyme, that's my title, down the bottom says by Beck Sampson. And here's me, Beck. Beck Loves to Rhyme. There was a young lady called Beck. She was a pain in the neck. For when she spoke all the time, all she could do was rhyme. Now I've done a little speech bubble here and it says, rhyme time, walk and talk, legs and eggs, silly Billy. Let me tell you her story. Hey, look, we've been learning about numbers and in this book, I put page numbers down the bottom. And Lila always tells me I need to make my pictures more colorful, so I've added some color. When mum asked Beck to feed the fish, Beck replied, I'll feed the fish in the dish, if that's your wish. Mum rolled her eyes. When Dad asked Beck, can you please clean your room? Beck sang, I'll clean my room. I'll zoom and zoom with my trusty broom. Dad shook his head. This actually looks like my dad. He's got a little beard like that. Not much hair on the top of his head. <laughs> when sister asked Beck to keep it down, Beck cheekily said, no need to frown, you'll lose your crown, I'll keep it down. And this made sister cross. Can you tell? I've done her eyebrows pointing down. Page three, let's go on. When brother said, Beck, can you water the big flower? Beck said, I'll shower the flower with all my power. Brother was very annoyed. He crossed his arms. Brother went straight to mum. I've had enough of Bex rhyming. I think we need a family meeting, a rhyming intervention. As the family sat around the table, they each had their turn to speak. Mum said, we need it to stop. Dad said, the rhyming is annoying. You're driving me crazy, shouted sister. Please stop, said brother. Okay, sobbed Beck. Look, I've drawn some tears coming down my face. For the next week, the family asked Beck to do jobs. When the family asked her to do jobs, all she said was, okay. Mum said, Beck, feed the fish. Okay. Beck, clean your room. Okay. Beck, can you keep it down? Okay. Beck, can you water the flower? At the end of the week, the family realized Beck without rhyming wasn't happy and without Beck's rhyming, the house was quite boring. So they held another family meeting. We feel so bad that you're so sad. We miss your rhyme all the time. Do not worry, we are sorry. Beck's frown turned upside down. Her smile was as wide as a mile. Smile and mile, they're rhyming words. All Beck could say was, hooray, let's have a rhyming party. And her family said, okay. I hope you like my bookmaking. I wonder if you can make a rhyming book. 